Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl, and we want to bring in Lieutenant Colonel Keith Bland of the United States Air Force. Colonel, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the Celebration Bowl here. Oh, thanks. It's, uh, it's such an honor to be here. We're, uh, you know, we're always looking for ways to communicate with the American public about the opportunity to serve in the Air Force Reserve, and uh, it's a challenging media landscape out there. Um, and frankly, we weren't reaching all the audiences that we wanted to reach. So when this opportunity presented itself, uh, came to our attention through our ad agency and uh, through the folks at ESPN with Mr. Grant, it was just a, a total win-win situation for us. You know, football, college football is such a part of the Amer American lexicon. Absolutely. Uh, and so iconic. And of course, our, our military and our armed forces are just as iconic as well, if not more. Uh, that branding, to bridge that gap, to have everyone to be able to understand, come together and focus under this umbrella has to be a win-win, as you mentioned, a tremendous opportunity for both sides. Well, there's, there's so many similarities, you know, great teamwork, discipline, perseverance. Um, you know, as I'm meeting the coaches here today, to realize how many lives they've influenced in an incredibly positive way, uh, plus with the, the great history of the Southwestern Athletic Conference, the rich, rich cultural tradition as a, as a former band guy myself, seeing those absolute world-class uh, musical units as part of the whole fabric of what makes these teams so great. Again, it's just, it's, we feel very fortunate to be aligned with this. Now, this game's going to be televised on ABC. It'll be December the uh, 17th, and, you know, so much preparation goes into it, and I talked to Mr. Grant about how quickly it was able to be turned around last year. Is that a testament to how quick our military can get things done? Well, we'd like to think <laughs> so, but it's a great testament to the team that he's led. Um, uh, again, there's there's so much that we share in common, mm -hmm. and uh, for us to be able to, to be a small part of this um, is is just a great opportunity for the Air Force Reserve. You know, we just we just uh, got a new leader ourselves today. Uh, Lieutenant General Mary Ann Miller uh, just had her change of command about an hour ago. Uh, first female general uh, leading a, a major command. Uh, it, uh, leading a, a reserve force for us and uh, so on behalf of her and the 70,000 citizen airmen with the Air Force Reserve again we couldn't be more happy with our opportunity to be a part of this. Well I, I know it's a huge opportunity for you guys and we talked about the residual that happens we had it last year, going to have it this year, and moving to the new stadium in Atlanta with the uh, Atlanta Falcons partnering up as well so everybody just seems to be on the right page for this uh, for this huge game. Yeah, absolutely going forward. And, and we love the fact that not only the, the first bowl game of the season, but it's a championship. It's a national championship game. Um, so, it, it, you know, it means a ton to these programs, to these schools, to the communities that, that they're part of. Um, and uh, it's just very exciting. If, if this year's game comes even close to the, uh, to the intrigue and the, the uh, you know, the competitive level of last year's game, you know, hold on to your hat. It's going to be an awesome, awesome showcase. Yeah, I was going to ask you what were your impressions of the inaugural game and, and what were some of the things that people can look forward to to this year? Well, I think, uh, you know, it, it definitely has that military image. So when you're there in part of the stadium, uh, you kind of get that touch of, of what we have. But, but again, seeing the bands showcase what they do on the field, um, seeing, seeing uh, sitting down with the fans in the stadium and seeing the passion that they have for their team. I mean, all of us have, you know, some college experiences that we like to feel proud of. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you there's a there's a whole level of spirit and camaraderie associated with, with the teams that are going to compete this year that it's, uh, it's just an unmatched fan experience as well. well. Speaking of unmatched fan experiences, we know that uh, a lot of football programs invite fans and coaches and SIDs to their events. What are your impressions of how the SWAT handles media day here at the uh, at the Marriott? Totally first class. <laughs> one of our one of our core values in the Air Force is excellence in all you do. This this embodies that. Everything, every person we meet is is uh, first class, and uh, it's again, it, I'm a little bit in awe of, of what we're experiencing, <laughs> but just just feel so fortunate to be here. Well, we are certainly fortunate to have you here, and as I speak for everyone when we say we appreciate your service and all the things that you do to make this country so great, and the things that uh, we are all able, the privileges that we sometimes take for granted, we don't uh, we don't forget how important that is that you guys make that. that possible so much. Lieutenant Colonel Keith Bland of the Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl, December 17th. Make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be a whole lot of fun watching that one go down. Hey, we got more from Swag Media Days in just a minute.